Hello everyone, my name is Ron Z. Welcome back to another episode of Cold Start. And today we're looking at this 2018 Ford F-150 Raptor. Let's roll the clip. Welcome back everyone. I hope you all enjoyed the cinematic video we did for the F-150 Raptor. Now today we're taking a closer look at some of the key features and highlights that I really enjoy and stood out to me in the Raptor. Now this model shown is a $90,000 truck. Now put that aside, 90 grand opens a lot of options for cars in general. You can get entry level M cars, AMG cars, SRS models, anything that you want. But the styling, the luxury, the performance, and its ability to travel all terrains all completes the value of this car. First things first, in the front, we have the signature and Raptor exclusive Ford block letters. They are paired with the integrated marker lights that shines off on the batch uh, at nighttime. This completes the overall aggressive look of the entirety of the vehicle. And for anyone that's, that ever questions of who made this truck, is made by Ford. Moving on top, you have the hood vents as well as you have the vents on the fenders over here. It is because this brand new engine, EcoBoost engine, has two turbos. Now, I know everyone is dying to know what's underneath the hood. Hold on one second. It is actually very exciting. and also very heavy. I know the old traditional F-150 is equipped with 6.2 liter V8 engine, those robust, uh, mean sounding motors, but this one is a 3.5 liter twin turbo V6 engine that is pushing out more power than the 6.2 V8. It's almost half the displacement and more power. Now, what is the number? 450 horsepower and 510 pound feet of torque. The towing capacity is a bit tricky. We try to find the exact numbers on the internet, but it's giving us mixed numbers. The most consistent number that we got was 8,000 pounds of towing capacity. I feel like the Raptor is way more capable of doing that, but if you're towing boats, if you're towing trailers for your camping, for whatever you need recreationally, this Raptor can handle it with ease. Moving along the side of the car, uh, there are three key features that I really adore on the Raptor. Number one is the wheels, number two is the suspension, and number three are the running boards. So these are 17 inch cast aluminum wheels slapped on with some meaty all-terrain rubber that can give you the confidence to tackle any terrain, sand, mud, wet weather, you know, snowstorm. Behind it you will see the rocks, uh, sorry rocks, Fox Racing Shocks. They are an aftermarket company that started off doing suspension components for motorcycles, for snowmobiles, and recently become really popular in 2014 for making premium aftermarket suspensions for trucks. Now the front has a 13 inch, the rear has a 14 inch travel distance, which means that it will give you the comfort for your day-to-day -day driving, but it also give you the good performance in tough terrains, let's say mud, sand, uh, wet weather, et cetera, et cetera. And of course, since this car is lifted, it is slapped on with a pair of Raptor exclusive running boards. I mean, just feel the material on it. It feels very sturdy. And I feel like this is not cheaply made by entering the vehicle. It, you kind of see that you can handle a lot of weight depending on uh, how much you weigh. I mean, the, the rest of the vehicle, it has, you know, the Raptor wrap, vinyl wrap on it. The rear is not too exciting. It has the back black emblem with the F-150 and the Raptor. 
overall step bumper, a, a dual exhaust, uh, things like that are pretty standard in a truck. So we're not gonna go into too much details about it, but the wheels, the rubber, the suspension, the running board are really key features that you should look out for in the F-150 Raptor. Now let's take a look at the inside. As you can see, 90 grand does give you the luxury that this car deserves. It has a two-toned leather seats with the Raptor signature emblem on it. I really like that. Uh, but I really, really like when manufacturers do these colored stitching that matches the two-tone that runs the entirety of the vehicle. I mean, it is on the wheel as well and completes with the racing marker wheels on the top. I'm going to get in. And you have these gorgeous... Uh, honeycomb orange accents all over the vehicle on the door panels underneath the center dash uh, center console display and as well as the um, on top of your glove box but just look at the stitching it makes this car really premium uh, gives gives you the the look that this car deserves to be 90 grand but in terms of technology i'm sorry to say it is pretty standard and basic uh, in terms of luxury vehicle you know you have your heated seats you have your air conditioning seats your navigation we have your camera um, a memory seat I, I feel like those things in a luxury vehicle are very standard so we're not going to do do too much uh, details into those things but come inside let's let's show you some of the two two key features that i really really enjoy in the f-150 come on inside so first thing that i, that I really find really unique and i kind of like it are these options or you can change the color of the ambient lighting now, of course we're, sh we're filming daytime but you'll see these you'll see these colors very visible at nighttime you can select different colors i think it adds a very nice touch to the depending on the mood that you're in <laughs> on that day but i think this extra little feature does give you the premium level of 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 the uh, of the vehicle rest things like the apple carplay android auto very standard in regards to today's technology you do have a valet mode as well by giving a, a, a four digit pen to whoever is valeting your car. But let's move on to the most exciting feature of, of the technology inside the F-150. It is what's in front of you in the center dash. As you can see, you have one, two, three, four, five, six different screens that you can play around with right in front of you. Obviously, of course, you have your standard trip odometer. That's very basic. Next, you have your fuel economy, navigation. You can select that and you have your you have your compass right in front of you moving along you have your you know uh, truck information doesn't really matter to me uh, you have your trailer information your towing i think that's very cool uh, of course one of the most exciting feature are the terrain management system come take a look you can select your your terrain management system with the mode plus up and down over here let's take a look back so when, once you select you have six different terrain modes which are presets that the Ford manufacturer have, have done so you can select which terrain you're in and then the vehicle will adjust depending on which terrain you're in. So number one, you have your normal, which is for your day-to-day -day driving. Sport, give you a little more, more aggressive performance, better throttle response. Weather, if you have rain, snow, um, hail, we have all that here in Canada, unfortunately, and that will give you the confidence to power through those terrains. And next we have mud and sand, pretty self-explanatory. Look at, look at that, it changed the differential to four by four. And after that we have the Baja. The Baja is actually uh, meant for the desert terrain, give you that uh, quick acceleration and the confidence to, prefer, to, to perform at an aggressive level uh, in the desert. And last but not least, we have the rock crawl, which means that you can climb rocks and crawl with this truck. Now, how many trucks that have luxury, that have styling, that have performance, all in the same time you can tow? I think that's, that's, that's the perfect balance of everything that you need in a truck. Uh, personally, <laughs> I would like to be inside a Shelby, uh, Shelby F-150, but this one does, does, does the job. Other than that, the rest of the functions, I mean, you, you have your steering wheel feel, uh, which is pretty unique. You have your normal, you have your sport, and you have your comfort. I think that's pretty cool with the steering wheel. And of course, this is one, one of the most, most uh, exciting features on the steering wheel that kind of just screams at me are these paddle shifter. Look at how big they are. They, they, they kind of give you that Ferrari, Ferrari Lamborghini feel that doesn't matter what your placement of your hand is, you will always be feeling these, these big paddle shifters that just give you comfort. 
and ease of access to perform, perform, and perform. The rest of the vehicles, guys, I, I just feel like it's very standard in terms of luxury equipments. You do have your panoramic roof. I mean, again, that's, that's pretty standard in luxury vehicles, especially for the amount of money you're paying. But these little key features here in the, in the, in the center dash, as well as right in front of you in your auto dash, uh, I just think that, that Ford has done a tremendous job uh, displaying those two features. And uh, yeah, guys, I think uh, that's all about what I really enjoy in the F-150 Raptor. So that's it from me, guys. I hope you all enjoyed the highlights and features that I really enjoy in the F-150 Raptor. And if there's anything that you enjoy that I may have missed, leave it in the comment section below. Let's start the conversation. Give us a like, comment, subscribe. It helps our channel grow and, and eventually bring out more cooler cars for you guys to see. So that's it from me. My name is Run Z, and I will see you next time on... I can't tell you. Take care, guys.